Hey there guys, Shadestorm Fox here. I finally got this webcam thing figured out so you guys can actually play along with me. Alright. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start in this new playthrough. Um, should be pretty fun. Uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles was one of my favorite games when I was a kid. And, um, oh, update! Uh, I know, I, uh, noted in the last, uh, video that I would try to figure out what was wrong with my computer and why it kept lagging. Um, I ended up getting a malware virus on my computer, and, um, so that's why, uh, everything was running so laggy and shitty. I'm going to go ahead and turn it down a little bit. I'm recording at like midnight and I have roommates that are sleeping. That is a Lilithy. That's a, a Yuki. That's a clavat or human, if you... Uh, that's a selkie. And basically these are the four races that you have to choose from, and you can be male or female. This looks important, but nobody's saying anything. Basically, I can sum it up for you guys. Um, a caravan is going out of the village um, to find these little dew drops to bring back to the village. Um, in the crystal chalices, which you carry around with you, um, and uh, the the dew from these trees that we're going to be going around and collecting um, puts up a barrier that protects the village from the miasma. Which, if you played any Final Fantasy games, you know miasma is equals bad. I don't remember this intro being that long. Oh, a little bit of lag there, but corrected itself. That's to be expected, though. I don't have a super awesome video card. I've got a pretty good one in my tower, but, you know. I've been uh, wondering if maybe I should make, like, a fund me website where people can con contribute to my YouTube channel so that I can buy stuff so that I have better videos. Um, come, let us record your adventures in this journal. It should be known as the Crystal Chronicles, but first we must know the name of your hometown. What do you think, guys? Um... How about... <laughs> well, I am a Game of Thrones fan, so... Oops. Oh, I can't fit Westeros. 
Damn. You know what? I'll just put Stark. Because how Stark represent? Year one, the morning of my departure was here at last. I tried to brace myself for the journey ahead. There was a field along the main road where I decided to camp until sunrise. Tomorrow, I set out in search of myrrh. Alright, here we go. So we're going to set out. And we have no characters available yet. And I am... What the heck are you doing, controller? That's not cool. <sighs> controller didn't get the memo to behave. Shade. Let's go ahead and be a female. Yep. And... well... Yeah. And we'll be the... Uh, Wolfie Tribe. And... We'll go with Blacksmith. Yes. Alright, so we are Shade the Female Selkie. Is it bad that the first thing I noticed was the fur lining on her blouse area? Probably. I'm a bad person. Today you finally step out into the world in search of murder. You can s come, you come safely back to Stark, alright? Should you find any materials for smithing, bring them back to us. We'll forge you a fine weapon. Don't worry, I'll take care of mother and father. If you make any friends out there, be sure to bring them around. Be sure to eat well. Oh god, no. I'm such a bad person. Animated boobs jiggling. Shade, the blacksmith's daughter, is sent off by her father, Zagat. Her mother, Raze, her brother, Gan Nu, and her brother, Dei Ti, or Dei Ti, whichever one. I probably won't see them for a while anyway. Alright, so here we go. Oh, it looks like we encountered something, someone. Hail, fellow caravanner! You are the caravan from Stark, are you not? I heard they were sending out a new caravan. You seem quite capable. My name is Sol Rocked. I am captain of the caravan from the great fortress of Alfitaria. Our caravan boasts a history that stretches back thousands of years. But let us discuss that some other time. Stiltskin, do you have a moment? This is the caravan from Stark. Come on, say hello. Allow me to introduce Stiltskin. If anybody else played Final Fantasy IX, you already know who this guy is. He may not look it, but he is a seasoned adventurer. Even we turn to him for counsel from time to time. No, I'm just a Moogle that likes to get around. I learned all sorts of things on my travels. I'm on my way somewhere right now, but I can teach you a two thing or two if you'd like. No, I'm good. I highly recommend you accept his offer. Yes, you wouldn't want to miss out. No, I don't want to... No. Tutorial is boring. Tutorial. Alright, so we got a Moogle to carry the Crystal Chalice so we don't have to carry it around. 
Lazy Selkie is lazy. Okay, to the right, and into the River Bell Path. This is where our first myrrh tree is. It's a rather quick level, so... But nobody's ever seen one. I once asked a man why. He simply replied, Because anybody who happens upon one is promptly eaten. But it is long since anyone has met such a fate. For nowadays, people take another route, far away from the spooky old road. Only we walk the old way now. Travelers in crystal caravans. River, Bell, Path. Fancy. Alright. Uh, we don't have much of a command list, so... Um, basically the controls are with the control stick. You control your character, or you can use the D-pad. You can use B to carry the chalice, or B to drop it. Y brings up your menu. Start pauses. X will have Mog pick up the chalice, which is what you want to do a lot of the time. Here's our first enemy. Uh, you hold down the A, and you do a um, charged attack. Just tapping A will attack them. Uh, the Selkies are a little slow when it comes to attacking, because I think they're mostly magic based. Bam. Wow, one shot. Holy fuck. Alright, so we got a stone of fire. Uh, when you get a magic spell, it automatically gets put into your menu. And it works the same as attacks. You just... Oh, wow, damn. I'm just tearing it up. Cure. Obviously, if you played a Final Fantasy game, or any game for that matter, before you know what it does. and you want to have it with you is it does come in handy alright so you pick this up bring it over here that opens up the bridge whoops goblin nope ah you fucker how dare you hit a lady Bam! Fuck. I don't want that. I want this. Different food items give different boosts. Um, fish boosts your strength and heals you. What the hell are you doing back there? You don't even know. Okay. Bam! Cherry cluster. Alright, so I'll just go through really quick with the items. Apples restore health and temporarily increase magic. Restores health, temporarily increases strength, increases strength. Drink to recover HP. Uh, this revives a fallen party member, automatically revives you when you're carrying in a command slot. Oh, and the, the cherries, I think, heal poison. Nope, they increase your magic. I can be wrong. Alright, let's go down here. And we find nothing. Not a damn thing.
Uh, let's go down to the right here before we go into that gate. Because I know that there's something over here. Oh! I need to explain this. You can change the element of your crystal chalice. In this one, you can either change it to water or wind. Um, I haven't really played through a lot of the game to figure out what they do, but I know in the Miasma Storm, um, if you have an element on your chalice, it uh, protects you from the Miasma. Oh shit, big goblin! Fuck! I'm not ready for this shit. Oh fuck! Shit! Not gonna happen, boys. Uh-uh. Yes. Alright. Fuck you. You think you're gonna throw stones at me? Fuck ass. I don't need that right now. Life. If I was a white mage in a party, I would help. Feel the wrath of my boobs! Bam! Ah, shit. No, no. Bam! That's right, feel my wrath. Damn it. I'll explain that in a second as soon as I kill the goblin. Um, certain enemies will drop certain items um, when you're done with a... Uh, not a quest really, but an area. Once you've killed the boss, um, there are bonuses at the end. Also, you want to make sure that you pick those up, because those are important if you want to craft more weapons, armor, stuff like that. Um, but when you defeat a boss, um, they have you pick a reward at the end. Oh, god damn it! Puzzles. Yes, the chalice can be used as a weight. I don't want to carry this. You carry it, Mog. As you can see, I didn't do the first half, but it doesn't matter. Oh, here's this guy. Shit, why do I keep doing that? I keep forgetting to switch back. Bam! Uh, another cure orb, okay. Uh, I'll teach you guys about combining magic once I get um, two that are the same, like two fire or two blizzard. So they really come in handy. Gill is extremely important. Without gill, you cannot make any items or buy any items. If you've played any game, any RPG for that matter, you know that you need money to buy stuff. Oh god, little squirrel thing. I don't know what you are, but you're dead. Silver Spectacles. That's one of the rewards that you can pick at the end. God damn it, I'm already on 18 minutes on this video. I cannot believe that. Well, now the, lo the level's almost over, so once we're done with this area, I'll go ahead and save and leave you guys off until the next video. Hopefully YouTube doesn't get mad at me for having this go a little long. Die! Do not touch me. Or my boobs. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to jump out of the ground and molest me. Not this woman. Okay. God, I hate being such a completionist. Oh, fuck. God, 
attacks do not stop these guys from attacking. I wish they did. Oh, chunk of bronze. That's going to be really, really important later. Yes, bronze salad. Love it. Okay. Oh, goblin. Another phoenix down. Okay. Boom. What is this? Novice's weapon. Okay, so we're gonna need that when we go back to Stark. Our village. Go down here. I can go there. I know I can. Another horb of life. Which you don't really need unless you're the white mage in a, in a party. Um, so I know for a fact... This was a uh, really popular party game. Get your buddies together, connect uh, your GBAs to the GameCube, and up to four people could play. You had your tank, your black mage, your white mage. I was always the warrior. I love being the warrior. I picked Selkie for this playthrough because, I don't know, because she's hot. I'll be honest with you right now. Oh look, carrots. What? What you got, big boy? Nothing? Okay. Fire! He's still on fire. What a loser. Fire! Oh, I missed. No, I didn't. Kinda missed. Gotcha! Feel the wrath of my boobs. With furry... With... I don't know where I was going with that. There's, there's fur lined on the costume. I'm not the only guy that's probably found that sexy. I got one, and I got a blizzard stone. Don't you hit me. Moogle pocket. Awesome. Alright, so I have two blizzard stones. So, in your command list, you can pick up two spells. I or, Well, when you get a moogle pocket, it adds on more. But if you have two of the same spell right next to each other, they fuse into the next level spell. So now I have Blizzara instead of Blizzard and Cure. There's still a couple more treasure chests to get before we go fight the boss. Alright, there's nothing over here. These guys cannot do anything for you because they just got here. Which is what they'll tell you, and I'm not going to waste time talking to them. That's where the boss is, underneath the bridge. And this is the last chest. It has the bronze armor in it. Which I hope is for us. Because there are items in the game that you can pick up that are equipment for other uh, races that you cannot use. Which is utterly useless in my opinion. But hey, Square Enix. So here we go. Who's all for skipping this? Noted. It's, ah, you fuck. Stop moving away from me and let me hit you. 
Oh shit. No, you're not gonna hit me twice. I don't think so. Uh -oh. Damn it. Okay, so at least I hit him. Damn it. I hate when he summons these little squirrel things. Alright, so he has three attacks, um, that shock orb thing that you saw him do, the head smash, and he'll come up and slash you right in the face. Now what we want to focus on right now, oh, also the bubble thing. So four. Sorry, I miscounted. So the main thing that you want to focus on is you want to keep your distance. And just hit him with magic. If you touch that bubble, it will slow you down. Um, it is not a water spell. It is, uh, slow. Stop moving, you bastard. I want to kill you. Only get close when you have to. That time charging spells is a bitch. Three hits usually will kill the little squirrel things. Alright, so we're starting to deteriorate his armor. Which is what you want. Which means now he can only head smash. That he lost his claw. It hurts when you get hit by his head armor. Try to avoid that. Also, um... I didn't say this earlier. Don't ever go outside of the bubble of the chalice. It is the only thing protecting you from the miasma. Uh, we're almost done. And I'm almost at like 30 minutes. Please don't be mad at me, YouTube. Fuck you. Come here. Do your little headbang thing so I can get rid of your... Oh! This is new. He will start to do, um... Shit, see? I told you. Slow. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fuck. I wish this... There we go. Okay. And it may only last a few seconds, but it's still a bitch. No, don't you touch me. Almost there. No, damn it! <sighs> Fucking asshole. Now it's gonna take me longer to cast my spells. Stop moving! Ah, you little fuck, you're back. Fuck it. Whatever. Fuck you and your bubbles, you piece of shit. Fuck you. Oh, that's bullshit! Come on! Two attacks in a row. My ass. Feel the wrath of my tits!
watch this. This is very important. This is where we get the myrrh drops from. This is the myrrh tree. And uh, if you're paying attention to the story, which I don't remember skipping, um, one myrrh drop can be collected every three years from a single myrrh tree. So now that we've collected this drop, this tree will not produce another drop for another three years. Uh, the first time around when you're collecting myrrh, I believe it's three drops. New diary entry. Mail Moogle! We'll find out what he says next time. Thanks for playing with me, guys. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. See you later.